Hey everybody, this is May. I'm at ZenkaiCon 2018 with Jade Saxton, talented actress and director known for Dragon Maid, Fairy Tale, One Piece, and innumerable things. How are you enjoying the con? Uh, this con has been great. Everyone's been super friendly and so nice, and lots of fans coming out to say hi, so I'm having a good time. And I love Lancaster. Or is it Lancaster? I don't know. I feel like I'm saying it wrong, but I love it. <laughs> I have no idea either. <laughs> So, do you do a lot of cons? Um, I try to do a fair amount. I feel like I'm not... There's some people who I feel like are there every single weekend. Um, I feel like I maybe get one in once a month. In the summer, it gets a little bit busier. But yeah, it has picked up. It's picked up over the years, yeah. And when you do these cons, I'm sure you see a lot of people in very extravagant dress. What do you think of these cosplayers? Um, I love seeing whenever someone is dressed up uh, from a show that I've done or a specific character that I've done. Uh, like today I just, I basically squeed when I saw, uh, there was a Kana and then there was also a full on like Issei in Juggernaut from High School DXD, like, uh, amazing. Cause like I have like my artistic talents, but like any sort of creative, like cos cosplaying or like drawing or that type of art, like I can't do that at all. So I'm like always immensely impressed with that. And it's so cool. I get so excited to see all of those. Now, if you got to come to a con in costume as an attendee, who would you want to cosplay? Ooh, I don't know. I uh, Last weekend, I did a really cool one because I love going to the Ren Fair. And uh, my best friend, she designs cosplays and does all of that. And so she made a peasant Snow White one for me. And that was really like a, Ren, a Renaissance version of that. Um, so I really like that. And I like all like the steampunk things. So I'd probably like... If I could figure it out or have someone figure it out for me, I'd probably, like, do a take on one of my characters, but, like, renaissance it or steampunk it up somehow, yeah. yeah that sounds cool. I love alternate versions of things. It's yeah. very creative. I love that, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, also, as a director, have you found that it helps you when you're acting or vice versa to know that side of it? It was completely humbling to become a director and, like, get on that side of things and it 100% made me a better actor, a quicker actor, a faster actor, uh, an actor that could like more quickly think of a solution to kind of help out with the, the flaps, which are the, the, I always do puppet hands when I'm doing flaps. I'm like the flaps, like the mouth movements. Um, but it was totally humbling to be able to do that. And um, I'm still learning. I'm still considered one of the baby directors in the business. <laughs> like some of these people have been doing it like 15 more years than I have. But um I'm, you know, I'm still learning every day, but I'm also like, hope it's not sounding like I'm tooting my own horn, but like, it, it's just that feeling of like, now that I'm in year two of like, oh, I remember the feeling of two years ago and being like, ah, and like now I'm just like, okay, yeah, I know how to work with that. I know how to fix that. And so it's just, it's been really awesome. Well, it's good to grow in any experience. Absolutely. What are you working on right now that you can talk about? Um, right now I'm directing two shows. So I'm directing season four of High School DxD. What? And I'm also reprising my role as Konako. And I'm also directing Kakarillo Bed and Breakfast for the Spirits, which is a beautiful, like, sort of romantic food fantasy in the spirit realm kind of thing. Uh, I'm also reprising my role as Ferris on Steins Gate Zero. And I'm continuing my role as Utsutsu in Basilisk. And then who knows what else coming up? Yeah. Oh, oh, and My Hero Academia Kendo, yeah. <laughs> awesome. And where can people follow you on social media to find out about your projects? Yeah, uh, I'm on Twitter at Jade B. Saxton, J-A-D-B-S-A-X-T-O-N. I'm on Instagram at Jaderade, uh, like Gatorade, <laughs> and I'm on Facebook at Jade Saxton Voice Actress. So three fun questions. If there was any actor or artist, living or dead, that you could sit with for an hour and talk to, who would you want to talk to? Oh, I love uh, Gary Oldman so much. Like, uh, yeah, I would love to. I don't know what I would say, though. I might, like, freeze up. I don't know. But if I could get my ish together, I would love to sit with him. Yeah. That sounds like a lovely time. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if you could spend some time in any time period, where would you travel? Ooh. Well, maybe I would, like. Even though, like, part of it would be real awful, like, want to check out the Renaissance. Uh, I think I would really like that. Also, um, I think I would love to go back to the Roaring Twenties. 
you know, hit up the jazz scene and get debaucherous with when alcohol was not allowed during Prohibition. <laughs> Just have a have a good time with all that. Yeah. And you already have a disguise for the Renaissance. <laughs> That's true. Yes. <laughs> and if you weren't in the entertainment industry, what job do you think you'd have? Ooh, I don't know, but I'm also really into uh, tarot and like all of that divinity stuff and everything like that. And so I really think that I would probably be trying to be like a psychic and like reading tarot cards for people and stuff like that. Nice. Well, Jade, thank you for spending time with us today. Everyone, thank you for watching. And as always, have fun and cosplay on. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share, and we love to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the con floor.